Okay, so we have a question about principal angles and reference angles. <clears throat> so the principal angle is equal to the angle in standard part, uh, position. So say I'm given the principal angle of um, <clears throat> 123 degrees. I just picked that. So if we have our angle in standard position, that means it's made with the positive x-axis. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this uh, 123 degrees. It's going to be past 90, but not all the way to 180. So it is in this area here, 123 degrees. Now the reference angles, the reference angle is always made with the nearest or closest um, x-axis. So whereas this one is our principal angle, here is our reference angle. And to calculate it, we would take 180 degrees minus 123 degrees. And that would give us a reference angle of 57 degrees. So the reference angle is always made with the nearest x-axis. Okay, nearest is key. Okay, um, <clears throat> so the, the big thing here is that that that's going to uh, your your uh, principal angle is always made with the positive x-axis, but your reference angle is always made with the nearest x-axis. So there are some situations where they are the same. So let's look at those. Um, if I've made anything less than ninety degrees, so my principal angle is uh, 67 degrees. So I draw that in here. That's my principal angle. Well, because this is made with the uh, positive x-axis and it is less than 90 degrees, it's also going to be the same as your reference angle. So this is also going to be the same because it's in the same quadrant. Um, and it's just because it's closest um, x-axis. Um, we can look at one, if I have one here, that is in <clears throat> the third quadrant. So say this is my principal angle, and we'll say that that is, mm, let's just say that this principal angle is 213 degrees, and I wanna know what is the reference angle. Well, looking at this, if I make the angle with the closest x-axis, so I take that, that arm and I make it with the closest x-axis, my reference angle is going to be in this quadrant. So it's going to be 213 degrees minus 180, which works out to 33 degrees. Now, similarly, um, I can have one or in my fourth quadrant. So say I have my principal angle rotates into the fourth quadrant, so it goes all the way around. So my principal angle, we're going to say is, oops, sorry, I dropped my, um, um, 335 degrees. Okay, so I've rotated around. So my reference angle again will be made with that positive x or with the x-axis, the closest one, and it's going to be 360 degrees minus 335 degrees, which is 25 degrees. Okay. Um, so I hope this helps in terms of talking about principal versus uh, reference angles. 
Um, the, the thing is, is to remember is because of the caste law. So for example, this last one, <clears throat> if I wanted to find cos of theta p, well, it, because it is in um, the fourth quadrant, it's actually going to be the same as cos of theta r because they're both positive, right? The principal angle you're always going to get a positive value for. And it's just when we're looking at other, other quadrants, like for example here, cos of 213, which is my principal angle, so cos of the theta p, um, because it's in the third quadrant and cos is negative, it is going to be negative cos of the ref, um, reference angle because if I found that reference angle, it would give me a positive value. So cos of 213 is equal to negative of cos 33 degrees. So thinking about where cos is positive or negative or sine is positive or negative or tan is positive or negative, that's where you're going to start getting those different values. But in terms of which is the reference angle and a principal angle and which one is your reference angle. It's just looking at that angle you started with and then um, your reference angle is always made with the closest.